Hello fellow streamers, this is Girl vs. Dumb again. I'm a partner Twitch broadcaster and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Stream Elements Overlay Manager. Stream Elements, if you haven't heard, is a wonderful program that can be used both by Twitch and YouTube streamers. It's a great way to both simplify and elevate your streaming experience. So basically, the Overlay Manager that they provide is a wonderful way to keep all your sources, whether that's images, text, browser services, alert boxes, all in one place and it's always ready for you when you're on the go. Whether that's streaming at a friend's house or at a convention, they'll be always there for you in your overlay manager. And because of that, it'll also save tons of CPU usage for you, which is something you really, really want to be doing when you're a streamer. So let's head over to the Stream Elements site and get started. Okay, so here we are on the Stream Elements dashboard. Basically, this is your landing page for Stream Elements. And from there, to get started on the overlay manager, we're gonna click on My Overlays. Don't fret, if you haven't made an overlay yet, then you won't see any here. I already have some, so that's why I have some listed over here. If you don't want to make your own, you can always go to the themes gallery and look through some of the amazing super themes they already have made for you on Stream Elements. They have lovely animated and static overlays if you guys would like. And just because it's a more detailed thing, there's gonna be a separate video linked up in the info section for you guys. But let's go back to my overlays and set up one of our own. If you want to create a new blank overlay, let's click on this button on the top. The first thing it'll ask us to do is what game is this overlay for? It's not required to fill it out. It's just if you want to have um, a specific game for that overlay. Uh, you want to make a new overlay name that is required. I'm just calling mine new overlay. And this is really important as well. You need to set the correct resolution that you're going to be streaming in. So if you're gonna be streaming in 1080p, you want to have that as the correct overlay or select one of the others as well. But if your base resolution is 1080, select 1080. Click on submit, it'll take a second and then you'll get onto your new overlay. You can always edit the title later if you'd like. This will be something we'll do later, it's called launching it. That'll be how you put it in your streaming service. You can go to the overlay editor, you can trash the overlay or you can duplicate it if you need to make a copy. Let's go over to the editor. So from here, we have our wonderful blank page. Basically, the green here is gonna be transparent. It will not show up when you're streaming. It's just there for you to see your background and all your widgets and stuff. So just to get started up at the top, on the right, we have our exit and that'll take us back to the previous page. This is the mute button to mute any audio, which will happen if you're setting off alerts in here. You can reset the zoom. These are the zoom buttons here. You can fit it to screen, and you can have snapping on or off. That'll end up snapping your images or text to the side of the screen. This will bring us back to our basic edit editor page from these other pages that we're on. Here are some widgets that we can set up and we'll do shortly. There's tons of them, there's no need to get overwhelmed, but it's definitely worth looking through some of the amazing ones that we have. Data is a great way to see all the data that you can see for goals, which are down here. It'll show you, um, Within the last session, how many tips you've had, who was the recent follower, what cheers did you get, etc., etc. You can add in text, you can insert an image, and you can also insert video. Let's go to insert image first and back to the editor. Now I want to add in a background image. I'm gonna do that so that I can position <laughs> all these all these wonderful images. I can position our background image clicking on our image that I want. I can position it so that I can kind of decide where I want my other widgets to go. Now I'm gonna click on, retitle this as background, and I'm gonna change the position because obviously right now it's really tiny. The default is 200. I want it to be 1920 by 1080. This is from Dark Souls. And what I want to do is when I'm playing Dark Souls, I don't want a lot of uh, animations maybe covering up this part of the page or up at the top. Um, so I want to have this showing for me, but I don't need it to be so um, opaque. I want to have it hidden. So I'm going to go down to this layers tab down here and I'm going to click on toggle visibility off. That's not going to show it up in the streaming service, just like the original green background, but I will be able to see and use it for positioning. Uh, so if, if you ever need to turn it back on, you can always press this button. You can lock it. You can move it up and down when there's other layers. If you want to duplicate this widget and you want to send this uh, widget or image to a different overlay, you can duplicate it for this overlay or click on this 
and allow it to select a different overlay that you have. Um, these are some of my others. I could click on the checkbox and click submit if I wanted to do that. Um, so from here, I want to make sure that it's fit on screen. We're all set to go. And then let's add in some widgets. Perhaps the most important one that everyone always wants to use is the alert box. The alert box is a great place to visualize all the Twitch events or YouTube events that you've had going on in your stream. So this is the alert box. You can see it bounded by these black lines here. If you want to change the position or size of it, let's go to position, size, and style. I want it to be 500 by 500. And you can see it's no longer centered, so I'm going to click on center widget. From there, you can go through, and just really quick actually to note, the alert box is listed above the background, just like in Photoshop or other um, imaging programs, this will be showing the alert box over the lower layer. So um, there's going to be a whole separate video on the alert box, so it doesn't seem like enough right now. Make sure you check out the one linked in the description, it'll go over it more thoroughly. But let's just go over just a little bit right now to show you guys. I can retitle it if I want to, I'll just call it alert box 2-2 um, if we'd like. And I'm going to go in and edit the follow alert. Since these are checked, it'll show all of these alerts. Right now, they're all the default stream elements ones if you guys would like to use them, or you can click on these editing buttons to change them. I'm going to have the follow alert on, and it's the lovely left shark that shows up. So let's click on, if you want to see what it looks like, click on emulate follower event. It's going to come in down from the top. It shows our lovely left shark. It shows the text, and it's moving around. If I want to change the image, we can go over here, I'm going to click on um, this basic emote that I have. I can change the sound if I want as well. Let's click on my follow sound. Oh, and of course, if you don't have any, click on that again, and you can always upload sound, images, videos um, over here, and it'll also show them under all files. So let's click on close. I have a sound. I have an image. You can change whether the image shows above or over the text, um, next to the text, or above the text. I'm going to do it next to. You can change the alert message if I want to say username. Basically, this uh, name in brackets is a, is a code variable. It's going to show the username that's popping up for the follower is uh, now in the real world. As we say in my channel, it'll show the alert dur duration. And you can also do custom CSS if you'd like. So uh, if you'd like to change any of the text settings, maybe you don't want it so big, let's change it down to 30 here. You can change the font, the color, the positioning, whether it has a shadow or a wobble, which if we want it to, maybe we'll have it swing instead so you guys can see the difference. Let's click on emulate alert. So now it's doing a little bit of a different animation. We have our blinking uh, <laughs> emote there. And let's make sure that we save so that we don't forget what we did. Let's close that out. And from here, let's also go through and tweak in and add some new stuff. There's tons of amazing widgets. Other great ones are, of course, these ones up here, the most popular, the Hype Cup, uh, Kappa Gen, and Store Redemptions. You can also do Twitch Chat, Countdown, and there's also going to be different ones that will show maybe based on uh, which service you're on. So it might show different events, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, and that'll be indicated. If you want to, for example, show your latest subscriber, um, just like the last thing, this name here will show the username. You can change the title. And this is an example of having text on the screen. We'll say last sub. So in a great use of the background, if I don't want it to be in the way of these things on screen, and I just want it to be off to the bottom, I can drag it down or I can position it wherever I'd like to. I'm going to have mine in the bottom corner. You can see it's snapping right now. If I don't like that, I can take snapping off and I can just position it organically as I'd like. Um, from there, we can also add on some other different widgets. There's tons of them that I recommend you guys look through. Another popular one though is the tip goal. So for example, if you're trying to go to TwitchCon or you're trying to fundraise for a PC part, this would be a great thing to put on your screen. You can change the title of it if you'd like to. You can also change directly the title that it'll show on screen. If I want to say goal, new SSD drive. We can put that on there. I'm going to change it to 150 if we'd like. 
Um, this will show us the percentage of completion if you'd like. You can show a condensed version. You can also show a simplified version. If you don't want to have that, that's okay. You can change the end date over here to maybe we'll give it two weeks. And you can also change the colors. So if I want to pick this one, for example, make sure you do ones that will show up well on the screen in the game that you're playing. This will be the background color. Potentially gray is not a good option, but it shows well without what we, we can see here right now. And as people donate and it fills, it's going to fill with a new color, this pink one that we have. If you want to change the size, maybe it's a little too wide for your taste, you can type in a new width here. You can also make sure that if it's centered on the screen, probably you don't want that, but it's available. I'm going to put off mine in the top corner. Because I have the background image there, I can see that this is a good place to put it. There's nothing on the screen. It's not in the way. It's not conflicting with the alert box or the latest sub. So we're all good. Um, lastly, we can change the text settings. Maybe it's a little big. Maybe it's not centered. You can click on the center. So it'll change that this is centered within the widget. You can change to take a different font, a different color, a different size. Um, you could have a different text shadow if you'd like. All these amazing things. Again, let's make sure we've clicked on save. If you want to see any of the um, events that we have, you can always see the default ones, the ones that you've selected over here. You can click on them. If you don't want to hear um, the audio, you can always take the audio off in the corner, as we said before. And um, lastly, since we're all done basically within um, the base overlay itself, we're going to go over and add it to the streaming service. The one that I use is OBS, so I'll be showing you that over there. So lastly, again, let's just click save one last time, and then we're going to click on launch. Now, launching your overlay is going to give you a link to the browser source you'll post into your streaming service. You don't really want to be showing other people so they, they can't see it and steal it. For me, it's fine right now. You guys can see. But um, there you go. I've copied it. And let's go over to OBS and put it in the browser source. All right. So here we find ourselves in OBS. Uh, it looks a little freaky, but that's just because I'm capturing it just to show you guys what we're doing. Yours will obviously not be being mirrored. So to add in our browser source, we're going to click on this plus sign here at the bottom. We're going to scroll over to browser source, and that's going to ask us to create a new one. We'll call it new overlay, title it however you'd like. Click on OK. And from there, we're going to need to drop in that URL we just copied and pasted. So paste that in there. Change in the width and height to be the proper resolution that we set at the beginning. So I set 1080. You guys need to make sure that you put in the proper resolution to match yours. And then um, change the FPS to 60 because that's what Stream Elements uses. Super fantastic. You can also leave it at 30 if you'd like to just stream in 30, and that's okay too. Um, go ahead and delete the custom code there. We don't need it. And then just click on OK. Give it a second. And then we're going to see the visible parts of our overlay. So you can see the tip goal. You can see the latest sub at the bottom. Notice that you don't see that background that we made invisible. And you also don't see the alert box. The alert box will only show when events go off. So if you want to emulate an event and see if you like the positioning of where it is on your screen once you've got it all set up and you want to see what it sounds like, go back over to your Stream Elements Overlay Manager, click on the little blue bell at the left, and then click on what alert you'd like to emulate. To the real world. So for me, I clicked on the follower one. We can see what it looks like if you like the position. If you want to make any changes, make sure that you end up clicking save at the end so it's all changed and ready for you. So that concludes our tutorial today. I hope that was helpful for you. If you needed any additional help, Make sure that you check out the wonderful tutorials at the bottom and that will be, of course, linked around me right now. You can always, of course, tweet Stream Elements or myself, or you can join the Stream Elements Discord and they're super helpful. They're there pretty much 24-7 to provide you excellent customer support and service. 